Once you have mastered a good shot, you must learn when to use it. It's important when you practice your shots to always shoot towards the target. Control of any shot comes from a close or open blade. To keep the shot low, close the blade. And to shoot it high, all you have to do is open the blade. Remember that backhand shots are more difficult because of the curved stick. When attacking a goaltender, never carry the puck in front of you because he knows you cannot shoot from that position. The goalie takes one look, he reads peek or pass, and he backs up. Don't tell him what you're gonna do. Don't give him the additional advantage. Scoring goal is tough enough without giving the goalie the edge. Carry the puck beside you. Now you have him guessing. Then, if the goalie backs up to the crease, shoot. If he stays out, deek. The attacker always has to react to the goalie's position. This is why freedom of thought, a light speed, is so important. At 35 miles per hour, with two or three guys chasing me, I have about a quarter of a second to look, analyze, and react. So you should never predetermine what you're gonna do. You've got to be able to think on the spot. The backhand is used quite often when you have a chance to dig the goalie in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Stick and the puck from your forehand to your backhand. Remember, the puck has to be near the heel of the stick for control. Then hesitate. Hesitate, hesitate. hesitate and shoot it high. Always upstairs, where the goalie can get a foot, hand, or stick. Scoring goals by deflection or tipping requires standing in front of the net and waiting for the shot, and usually struggling with a big defenseman. It's not for me. The type of scoring play that I find truly satisfying is to receive a pass from Larry Robinson in our zone, which beats one foot checker and then I take up wide open for the other end. Through center ice and over the blue line, I exchange passes with Steven Pierre. Then I take the puck and head for the net. Hold the goaltender on the short side, fake the shot and then slip the puck to Steve. He shoots, the red light goes on. Go! go, go. It's more fun than most goals that I score myself. To move it on a goalie with two or three guys chasing behind and then to be able to completely dominate the goalie mentally is just a great feeling. To get a netminder moving one way and then control the puck in heavy traffic and put it in from another direction is the kind of a personal reward that makes all the training and hard work worthwhile. It's always a challenge and that's the fun in playing the game.